ABC Big Two weather right now. Well, first, we're going to check in with meteorologist Ryan to fill us on this Wednesday morning. And Ryan, a calm start out there so far, not too yeah, much so to be concerned about or worry about. But we do have some winds that could be on the way, right? Yeah, absolutely. Already a little bit breezy in parts of the basin. That's something that's going to intensify from Pecos to Wink, 15 to 20 mile per hour sustained winds, especially in those brighter blues and even some patches of yellow. But a 9 mile per hour breeze right down on Tulsa with the current temperature right around 66, not too bad. Partly cloudy in the mid to upper 60s for your morning commute. Those winds will start to pick up as daytime heating commences after the sun rises and just about 14, 13 minutes from now, warming up in the low to mid 80s by noon with those winds picking up as temperatures rising in the low to mid 90s with, yeah, pretty warm air and pretty humid air that will eventually bring more clouds and lower temperatures later this evening. Thunderstorms will likely form anywhere west of the Pecos River Valley right around 2, 3 o'clock. Moving into the basin later this evening, those bloody yellows and oranges indicate the potential for strong winds and hail. I'll be tracking those main threats later in the day today. Now, hurricane season is right around the corner and the other other parts of the country officially kicking off in the Atlantic tomorrow on June 1st. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says they are predicting 12 to 17 named storms with 5 to 9 becoming hurricanes and 1 to 4 becoming potentially major hurricanes. Their predictions come with a disclaimer. There are two conditions making it harder to predict the storms this season. One is El Nino, which is a climate pattern that we're now currently in. This pattern may hinder hurricane development this summer. On the flip side of things, the above normal temperatures in the Atlantic Ocean may fuel hurricane development. Like kind of a rare setup for this year, um, and that's why our probabilities are not 60 or 70 percent. They are a little bit to reflect that uncertainty. So you have these kind of these two big factors at play, uh, one trying to drive it to a very quiet season, the other trying to bring it to a very busy season. The 2022 Atlantic hurricane season had 14 named storms, with two being major hurricanes, Fiona and Ian, which caused billions of dollars of damage and killed dozens of people. Both of those names were retired. This year, up first, the list will start with Arlene and then Barrett. The 2023 season runs until the end of November.